Welcome back. We are here on Etoro looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, this uh, January 7, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get full access to our technical analysis, our signal service, and our online trade. So, Bitcoin continues this rally. We're trading at 36,127. So it is not the all time highs. We were a little bit higher yesterday and or basically at the end of the session. This is basically a new session because I'm recording this very late. But we basically topped roughly 36,500. So, yes, Bitcoin has, has had an enormous run. It's absolutely, uh, absolutely parabolical. So I have been doing this same analysis over and over again. Uh, this is just something that cannot continue forever we have seen some pullbacks but for example in the in the daily chart the 20 exponential is basically holding so we may have massive pullbacks of roughly nine percent it only means that we'll have additional rallies of 15 to 20 percent on the on, in, to the upside so so every single time we pull back towards the 20 exponential it has shown to basically be extremely supportive so uh, yes, we are very overstretched. We are significantly overbought, but apparently nobody cares. People are just buying this uh, like it's basically the end of the world. So you can look at a Fibonacci retracement, for example. If we were to fall from here, where could we basically fall? Well, usually you will fall to the first Fibonacci retracement. That is at 23,000. And it sounds crazy for Bitcoin to go from 36,000 all the way down to 23,000 or even to the 50 Fibonacci retracement at 19,000 or roughly 20,000. It is possible. That is usually what basically happens when things can become this parabolical. But still, the 20 exponential is holding. And as long as that is the case, this is not going anywhere. We can look at, for example, the weekly chart. It just looks even more ridiculous in the, in the weekly chart. We are up at 95 in the weekly chart. So even back in 2017, we were not that high in the, in the RSI. We were at roughly at 92 in the weekly chart. So we can look at the Fibonacci, we can look at the Bullinger Band, for example, in the weekly chart and just see how parabolical this basically has become. So the last time we were outside of the Bullinger Band here, we broke all the way down from roughly uh, 14,000 all the way down to roughly 3,700. So, yes, that is what happened last time when we were outside of the Bollinger Band. In, um, and uh, yes, if it were the same case here, that it is, this is roughly uh, a fall of, uh, well, roughly uh, $9,000. Uh, $9, so... So it is, is fairly crazy. This will fall more than half. It will fall all the way down to roughly, yeah, I haven't done the math at the moment, but a lot. If you compare this to what happened back in 2017, we fell 50% in one week when we got this parabolical outside of the Bollinger Band. Now this starts to look like sweet potatoes compared to what is happening now. So it is fairly plausible. It has proven to be fairly possible for this to lose half of its value in just one week. So people that are buying at this stage, they are technically uh, playing with fire. It is very, very, very risky. And even though it is basically uh, increasing by six, seven, eight, nine percent a day. But if we were to lose half its value, then we'll fall all the way to 18,000, roughly that. So all the way down here to the 20 exponential moving average or the middle of the Bollinger Band here, that is where this could go if it goes to the opposite side. But at this current stage, it is not going anywhere soon. So let's look at, looks like that Ethereum. So it's a very similar picture here. Uh, Ethereum is actually more over uh, overstretched than Bitcoin is in the daily chart at this current stage. We're at 90 in the daily chart. We're way outside of the Bollinger Band. And this, 
in normal circumstances, this should be falling towards the middle of the Bollinger Band. That's roughly at 771. I remember when I was doing the analysis here of roughly down around the 600 level, and then I did not expect this massive rally here. Um, what is happening here are probably several things. People are using this as, as, um, as a safe haven, for example. Uh, it is estimated that young people uh, tend to use uh, cryptocurrency more as a safe haven than, for example, silver and gold. So traditionally, it has been silver and gold that has been used as a safe haven. People are using basically uh, cryptocurrency, and especially young people are using cryptocurrencies. Um, so that is something that is happening here. But it's also just the news. It's every single day that there is um, news about cryptocurrency going higher. 9, 10, uh, 11, 12 percent. Uh, every, technically almost every single day now. And people will, uh, will buy into that. They will think that this will go basically um, as high as even technically possible. Uh, you can just go and search on YouTube or Google and so on for cryptocurrency and you can find a massive amount of stories everywhere that Ethereum is going to uh, 55,000. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, right. So, and the Bitcoin is going to, uh, to, uh, to uh, I don't know, uh, s several hundred thousand and so on. Uh, yeah, probably, but no, not in one go. You will have definitely major pullbacks before that ever happens. It is, yes, in probably uh, some amount of time, it will go to those levels, but uh, seriously, it's not going to happen right here now. So people are probably feeling like they're winning the lottery. Uh, what I'm afraid of is that people will get really burned when they start to buy into this, because these rallies here never, never, never end well. You can have a massive fall tomorrow towards the middle, and, and you will basically be stuck with a buy up here. So... At this current stage, no one should say basically buying this, neither uh, Bitcoin, uh, a pullback towards the middle, that is 776. That is basically where I would enter this market for a buy. So let's look at XRR, XR, XRP. So as you can see, we are going slightly uh, higher in this market. There's not a lot of movement here. Technical indicators are becoming more bullish. If we manage to break above the 200, the 20 exponential, then we'll go towards the 15. That is a fairly good trade. Uh, but if we manage to break above the 50, you know, turn around here and so on, then yes, that will basically be an indication that this is going to go higher. But at the moment, these, these uh, moving averages are acting as um, resistant and not support. And uh, until we basically break above them, uh, it is no reason basically to, to buy into this. We can run into them and then it falls all the way down to the bottom of the Bollinger Band here. And so, so it is fairly unlikely that that is going to happen, but it is, it is, uh, is a possible possibility. We fell all the way down towards 0 0.16, uh, 40, uh, 48. And um, yes, it is interesting, basically, to see what will happen here. Uh, for example, Bitcoin was once at this level. If you look at what value Bitcoin had back in uh, 2009 and so on, it had basically this value. And people that bought it there and have been holding it today, yes, they made some serious, serious, serious money. So you, I understand why these moves happen, but I definitely also understand why these moves happen. Uh, things that gradually increase with time are more stable. Things like this, this is just pure gambling. Very similar to, to Bitcoin and Ethereum. This is basically what I foreshadow for both of those cryptocurrency. Uh, people are believing in at the moment because it just goes higher and higher. But you can just see here, in this cryptocurrency, when it got way outside of the Bollinger Band, what basically happened? We fell below the previous lows here. So just keep that in mind. 
So at this current stage, if we manage to break above these moving averages, yes, it is possible to start buying with a very really tight stop loss underneath here. But when we cross the 50 moving average and start trending upward, that is when you should start buying into this. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.